video from Big Apple Pipes. As you can see, I'm here near Central Park. So more Big Apple this. I don't think there is anything with much. This week, I want to talk about the Prince of Unicorns, the Esoterica Pensens. Uh, this is a tobacco that I only had the chance to smoke a couple of times, just random balls. So this is actually the very first tin I'm able to unbox. So now I will proceed with the unboxing and I'll show you how it looks like. I was very curious to, to try this tobacco because as you may know, as I said, it's a unicorn. So it's one of those tobaccos that everybody, you know, always uh, talking about. It's a wonderful tobacco. It's very difficult to find. Actually, I was able to snag a couple of things from a collector. Um, so I will, I've never been able to buy it from an actual shop. And... Uh, what else? Um, it is an uh, English mixture and it is pressed in the form of flakes. Actually, they call it mottled flakes, uh, which is uh, something mottled flake, which is different than a standard flake, as we will see with the unboxing. And again, I'm not a big fan of English mixtures, so the whole purpose of this uh, video is about uh, understanding if this tobacco will live up to the hype and to the my myth, to the uh, you know reputation that it has. Uh, I mean, the, the the couple of bowls I had, they were very very good, but I never had an entire uh, tin. So let's see. Now let's go with the unboxing, and then uh, I will tell you how much I like it. I will just smoke a tin from start to finish without anything else in the middle. Let's go. So here it is. I just wanted to do the unboxing of this. Esoteric pensions, as you can see, finest English model flake, but you no, know, just unbox it for the Italian version of this video. And here it is. I mean, there is not much effort from Germans to do the packaging of this, it's very different from usual flakes. But here it is how it looks like. It looks like almost as a crumble cake, it's just very randomly pressed, but you cannot distinguish any actual flake. It's very, very dark. You can actually distinguish some, you see, shiny sugar coming out. So definitely some plume, but it's so dark and it's the humidity is just perfect. And uh, what can I say? This, the smell is amazing. It's super smoky. Definitely a lot of Latakia and that's it. So this is what I'm going to expect. And now I'm going to smoke it and I'll let you know if this lives up to his unicorn status. And this is my the main objective of this video. So here we are, as I was mentioning, I have been I've been smoking this tobacco for the past uh, like 10 days or something. And you know, when I do reviews, I only smoke one tobacco without any exception, without breaks. And I must say that yes, this tobacco lives up to the hype, but and my the big but is the fact that it's beautiful, it's so soft. There is this softness which is really Never, I never have never had in any other tobacco. It's super soft. As an in English mixture, it's super, super. It's very full. It's very flavorful, and it's really not much in the evolution, but mostly into the interplay between this soft, this sweetness of the Virginia, and the spiciness and smokiness of the Latakia and the Orientals. So it's it's very, very good. It's so rich in flavor. It made me to think about the, an image of like if you think about making a Latakia flavored ice cream or Latakia flavored cream, whipped cream, you will probably have the pencils. It's so soft. It's, it's unbelievable. So it's very good. It's very full. It's an English, if you like English mixture, you will love it. But I'm not a big English mixture guy. I'm mostly into Virginia. And what I found is that it's really not an all day smoke. As I said, I've been smoking this like every day for a week, more, more than a week. And after a while, it started becoming a little bit too much, like difficult to keep up with the with the schedule, being <laughs> schedule. 
preview schedule. I really wanted to smoke something else, something less flavorful, because these are really too much. It's really like um, like eating, I don't know, pecan pie at every meal for days. So it's like having pecan pie for breakfast, uh, lunch, dinner, and then again the following day. It's just too flavorful. It's just too much. So what I be- believe at the end of the day is that this is a very nice contemplative tobacco, very beautiful if, and very good if you smoke it like every once in a while or in a special occasion because it will give you that wow effect. But definitely not an all-day smoke, definitely not tobacco that is good to be smoked just any time of the day uh, or, or as the only smoke, at least for me that I am more of a Virginia guy. In the next video, I'm going to review the Quiet Nights from GLPs. As you may know, many people say that the Quiet Night is the, a very close match to the Pensons, uh, but it's readily available, and therefore, that's really what I want to find out. So, let's uh, see you next time with the Quiet Nights, but in particular, I will do a comparison between the Pensons and the Quiet Nights. So, again, I hope you like this video. Really, let me know what you think about the Penzance in the in the comments. What you think about it? If you have a chance to smoke it, and let's see if the quiet the quiet nights is actually similar or not. See you next time.